you are new to this group or our first time watchers, you are in for another episode of my Sunday drive. Where just like today, Sunday here in the Philippines, I host a quick live call every Sunday. I show up and I hope you also show up and spend a few minutes together to talk about things that uh, can help you start your journey to better your health. Um, during Sunday uh, drive like this, I discuss matters of our reality today that we as a society don't openly talk about. And I do this because in my 17 plus years of combined experience as a medical doctor and health coach, helping people achieve the best version of their health, I realize that there are matters that are essential pieces that we need to align first for health transformation to happen. So yes, we need to talk about this. So I hope that after listening to my episode last week, um, I got you to start thinking about Finding ways to make social relationships and connections your advantage, your leverage to better your health. So if you haven't watched that video yet from last week, which we have a replay in our group, I invite you to do so. And um, I do want you to do that and hope you do that because what I'm going to talk about today is kind of a sequel to my topic last week. Um, as I've alluded to last week, when you have an established relationship with somebody, you must determine in that relationship, what is your role? Are you the influencer or you are the follower? Because just so you know, you can decide when you need to be an influencer in one situation and when you need to be a follower in another situation. What I want to say is that you don't necessarily have to pick one over the other and stick to it for the rest of your life. As if it's attached to your identity. It's as if a gender that you cannot change. No, that's not the point. For example, all your life, you are always a uh, comfortable being a leader because you are confident. You might think that because you're confident every time you interact with other people that you ought to be this person who will always lead the pack, who always want to have to say something, who thinks that everyone is waiting for you to tell them what to do. The problem with having that kind of mindset is you think you know everything and so you miss the chance of listening to other people who might have a better idea than you, especially if they've gone through successfully at what you're going through right now. So what's my point? My point is sometimes we need to hold ourselves back from being an influencer and start being a follower. There's nothing wrong with being a follower. Every single person you admire in your life was, was following somebody. And I bet they're still following. They're still following somebody too. There's magic when you follow. When you follow, you stop talking and you start listening. And when you, when you listen intently and, uh, and regularly, you absorb incredible ideas from people who've been in your situation and you look at them now, successful, having the life or health that you desire. The person you are following has a tangible or visible form of an idea or feeling or qualities that you want to have for yourself too. And that person is also following somebody. 
So the question you might have in mind is, hmm, so how do I know when to be an influencer and when to be a follower? To answer this question, I suggest you ask yourself these three questions first. Write this down if you have a pen or paper or type it in your phone as notes. These three guide questions in order to determine when to switch to a follower mode. Number one, are you ready? Number one is how is my health physically and mentally right now? And you need to be honest in answering this question. How is my health? Is this where I want to be? Number two, am I happy with where I am, with my health physically and mentally? And number three, do you believe that this is all it is for you? This is the best health condition you could ever get in your entire life, for your entire lifetime? Three questions. How is my health? Number two, I'm, am I happy? Number three, is this all it is for me? Or do you believe you can do better? I tell you, if you have at least one question answered, no, that means deep inside of you, you strongly believe that your life is meant for more, that you can do better. Now let me share with you how I reconstructed these questions in my mind. Um, and even to this day, I still use these questions as my health compass. I remember July of 2017. That is a time when I decided to turn off my influencer mode um, temporarily. Several years before that, um, I was accumulating, I knew I was accumulating health problems already. I was uh, 20 pounds heavier, um, taking three different stomach medicines, um, using a nasal spray for my sinus allergies. And I was constipated for as long as I could remember. All this I was uh, tolerating for many years. Tolerating until I saw my blood sugar kept rising and finally hit the diabetic range at 37 years old. Tolerating until I saw my husband limping from gouty arthritis and his blood test results were worse than mine, still at 37 years old too. 2017 was when I decided to pause, um, absorb all these facts, all these things that are happening with my health, and then I asked myself, is this where I want to be? No. Are you, am I happy with, uh, with, with, with my health condition? No. Can you tolerate more, Adelita? Knowing that as a doctor, it's only going to get worse if you don't do anything different. No. Is this the best health condition you could ever get out of this life you're living? No. So 2017 was the year I said to myself, enough, enough of this. I'm suffering. I'm not happy. I'm only tolerating surviving, but not living and thriving. And I believe that I can do a better job at taking care of my most precious possession, none other than my health. 2017 was when I said I should go to where I am celebrating, not to where I'm tolerating. It didn't make sense to me to go through cycles of suffering, tolerating, suffering, tolerating, suffering, tolerating, endlessly. Does that make sense to you? It's to me. It didn't. So I took a pen and paper and drafted my plan. Um, and one of the plans 
I listed was to follow somebody. Somebody who has the credibility, who truly cares, and most of all, living what he or she is preaching. I looked for that person and I was surprised, pleasantly surprised to know that there are many people who were once in my shoes and they came out of it. People who have walked the path that I was about to explore. People who keeps on celebrating the life they've chosen. The kind of life that I also want for myself too. Kind of health that I also want to have too. I am choosing to be a lifetime follower of these people who are walking two, three, four chapters ahead of me. And why not? Why not? Ain't that a smart yet simple thing to do? So what do you do? Simple analogy to this is what do you do when you want to visit a place you've not been there before? In the old days, you take, a, take out a map, right? Um, you make stops and ask people. Now we use navigational tools, GPS, our cell phones to guide us. Why can't we do that with our health? Get a mentor, follow somebody whose principles and beliefs align with you. Because sometimes you need a mentor because you cannot see your picture when you're in the frame. I'll leave you with that thought. Stay connected with me and follow me here in Lifestyle Changers MD every Sunday at 8 a.m. Philippine time or if you're in the USA, it's Saturday 5 p.m. Pacific time or 8 p.m. Eastern time. This is recorded and of course available in our group very soon. Share this video to those people whom you think can benefit from this. See you again next week. Bye.